welcome. My name is Jacob. This is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about overtrading and how you can reduce the amount of trades that you're taking every single day if you are struggling with overtrading. The, the first point is to reduce the amount of pairs that you actually look at when you're trading. Um, because obviously the more pairs that you look at, the easier it's going to be to try and find a setup to actually trade. So you can actively just reduce the amount of pairs that you're looking at if you are trading Forex or stocks if you're doing stocks. Um, so just reduce the amount of things that you're looking at and that will automatically just reduce the amount of trades that you're going to be taking. The next one is to actually just reduce the amount of time frames that you trade on as well. So not only are you reducing the amount of pairs that you're looking at, but you're reducing the amount of time frames that you can potentially find a setup on. Um, a good one is a higher time frame to try and find the bias and then a lower time frame to just take the trades on. So a good one that I tend to use is the four hour and the five minute. So the four hour will be to identify the trend or consolidation. And then a five one would be to actually take the trades on and manage the trade. And the final point is two strikes and you're out. So that basically means if you have two losing trades in a day, you have to stop trading. Um, if you have a day where you have eight winners in a row, then keep trading. If you have two losers throughout the whole day, you stop trading. So you could trade 20 times in a day, but you can only have a maximum amount of losses of two, which means if you have one win and one loss in the morning, you can only take one more trade throughout the day if it's a loser and this just helps you with actually reducing the amount of trades that you do in the first place because you're only going to be taking profitable trades and if you have one of those losing days you're minimizing your overall drawdown for your equity curve um, so those are those are the tips that I've got three quick tips really short video today on how you can reduce over trading if you know someone that does struggle with overtrading, share this video to them. Hopefully it does help them. Um, if it did help you, comment below. If there's any other tips that you might have, comment those below as well. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.